Oh no, it's a blank screen, but not for long. Here we go. 2002 Nintendo Presents. Man, that was a long time ago. I was only six years old then. Well, this is a nice GBA opening. I love it. Now that's a nice looking sword. Oh, I know that sword! That's the one that Roy uses in Super Smash Bros. Ooh, nice. You know, that could work out well. I could end up raiding your stream then. That's cool. Link's Awakening, that's a fun one. Because this stream will probably be at around an hour and a half. Ooh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Emblem, the Sword of Seals, slash the Binding Blade, depending on the translation. Fire Emblem 6, the first Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem game, and the... Well, it came out before Fire Emblem 7, the one with Elwood Hector and Lynn that I've played a lot. It's, it takes place chronologically afterwards, but it was released first, so this is the first GBA Fire Emblem game. Some of the stuff is still a little primitive, but it should be a lot of fun anyways. I love GBA Fire Emblem. It's gonna be great. Now, I this isn't a true blind playthrough. I've never beaten it before, but I have played it a little bit, and I have seen people play it, but I still am gonna be largely clueless as to what to do. I'm gonna try to get the good ending, because I know there's a regular ending, and then there's a secret good true ending you can get, depending on if you make the right choices, so I'm gonna try to get that. Other than that, I'm gonna try to not reset if at all I can help it. I know I'm kind of reset happy in Fire Emblem games, but I'm gonna try to live with my mistakes, because that's, I feel like, I feel that's how Fire Emblem's meant to be played. I will still, uh, reset if I deem it necessary. Like, obviously, if my lord dies, then I'm gonna need to reset. Or if one of my characters that I'm really attached to dies, I might also reset for that. I, I don't know. And I'm gonna use the characters that I want to use. Some characters in this game are just garbage, but I don't care. Some of them I want to use. <laughs> hey, Mobius, welcome! My holiday was very nice. Got to see my nephew again. He's adorable. He's just, like, uh, he's starting to crawl around now, so it's it was great. It was great having the whole family together. Got some good stuff for Christmas, too, so it was very enjoyable all around. How was your holiday? I hope it was very nice. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! Oh, that's right, Roy is in Fire Emblem 7 for all of about 20 seconds. Now, this is the one where he's the main character. Nice to see ya! <laughs> Alright. Let's start a new game. Oh no, I can't play on hard mode. Chapter 1, Dawn of Destiny. Oh, this is gonna be good. Men and dragons once lived in harmony on this land. However, that harmony was broken when the men suddenly started to invade. The men? <laughs> in a great war known as the Scouring, both sides fought over control of the continent. The laws of nature were twisted from the vast amounts of power that were released. The dragons were defeated and disappeared from the face of the continent. Mankind then began to... Sp Why did that close out so quickly? Wait, what the heck? Why did that... <laughs> this is a f fan translation, everybody. Because this was never translated into English officially, so... Maybe that, maybe in Japanese there are fewer characters so it could scroll by without needing... I don't know. I couldn't read all that, though. <laughs> oh, well. I don't need to. Nobody cares about the plot in Fire Emblem games. That's not true. The people of the continent, Alib, have been spreading technology and civilization for some time now, after the dragons had been defeated in the Scouring. In the west resides the kingdom of Etruria, which has the highest level of civilization in Alib. What, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> the kingdom of Bern, with a powerful military and a practical and pragmatic attitude about life, is located in the east. These are the two strongest nations in Alib, and the lesser nations are located between them. There is the Lysian Alliance, which is under joint relationship of various, various Marquises. Marquis? I still don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Marquises. The people of the Knights Union of Ilia are hard at work cultivating the snowy wastelands in the north. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, 
because you need to beat normal mode to unlock hard mode. Even if I could play hard mode, there's no way I'm playing hard mode. I have seen and heard what hard mode's like, and it is... It's a great example of fake difficulty. There's a lot... It Yeah. Oh, Arnie, you, you should be playing on hard mode. No, screw that. I'm not playing hard mode. Normal mode made me rage quit <laughs> when, when I was younger. In Sakai live various clans which ride for the plains on horseback. Although there were occasional clashes between nation-states, there was a general sense of balance of power and peace in Alib. However, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. What? Well, the balance was suddenly disrupted. King Zephiel, ruler of the Kingdom of Burn, has sent his forces out to conquer the rest of Alib. Bro, after... Do you have any idea how much I had to bend over backwards to save your butt in Fire Emblem 7 and now you're doing this? Burn's forces invaded Sakai and Ilya and mercilessly massacred all those who stood against them. Well, that's not nice. And now Burn has shown signs of invading the Lysia Alliance. A youth named Roy was in Lysia's largest territory, Ostia. He was sent as a transfer student to train to become the next Marquis of Ferre. Ferre? I think Ferre. However, Elwood, oh dude, Elwood, you have not aged well, <laughs> who has fallen ill, oh, that's why, has sent for Roy to return home. Oh yeah, Hector has a beard and he looks just as cool as before. Just around that time, Melina, the daughter of Hector, had traveled to Lycia to pay her respects to Elwood. He's not dead yet! <laughs> After getting the message, Roy hurried back home, taking with him his loyal knights and Bors, a knight from Ostia, responsible for Lelina's safety. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a Fire Emblem game. The dad's probably going to die. As a general rule of thumb, the dads always die in Fire Emblem games. The story begins when Roy had reached an area on the outskirts of Fere. Fere. Don't know how to pronounce half these words. No matter... Let's just get to the gameplay! Chapter 1, Dawn of Destiny. That's a good starting chapter name. Let me guess, bandits are attacking. Not let me guess, I know bandits are attacking. <laughs> Fire Emblem games always start the first chapter with bandits attacking. <laughs> Boss! The residents of the castle have hidden themselves inside! <laughs> Even Elwood, the greatest knight in Lysia, can't beat an illness, eh? Edward's not the greatest knight in Lysia. He sucks as a lord. <laughs> <laughs> you were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers around here because they're getting ready to take on Burn. <laughs> of course, who do you think I am? But you never know when reinforcements are going to come. All right, kill off the guys in the castle while we still got time. Then the treasure is all ours. <laughs> Castles ain't the only places with treasure. Let's go ransack the villages and get some loot. No! I wanted what was in that village. Oh, Merlinus. <laughs> you also have not aged well. Master Elwood, the bandits from Bull Mountain are attacking us. I see. Blast. If I weren't in this state, I would teach them a lesson. Oh no, I have to do girls' voices. Mr. Elwood? Melina, you must hide somewhere. This castle's going to become a battlefield. No, sir. I will fight, too. Don't be ridiculous. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to say to Hector. To my father? But... It's going to be alright. Roy should almost be here by now, so if we can hold our own until then, we can drive off these bandits. Don't worry, if there's one thing I know about Fire Emblem, the green units that are <laughs> that are supposed to protect the castles are always top-notch. Hmm. Merlinus, I want you to send a messenger to Roy informing him of this attack immediately. Y yes sir Oh, that's a lot of enemies for the first chapter, actually. Oh, but it's okay. We've got Marcus. Oh, it's Lance! What's the matter? Uh, it's our boy! <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry? Master Roy, bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. What? Is Lord Elwood safe? He's inside, defending against the bandits' attacks. But I don't know how long he can last with his illness. Excuse me, Lance, is it? Is Lady Lavina safe? Are you from Ostia? Lady Melina's in the castle. She should be alright, as long as Lord Elwood is with her, but he can't last forever. No. I shouldn't have let Lavina go to the castle before me. 
Oh boy. Lord Roy, regret won't solve anything! We must recapture the castle! Oh, she's right! We must hurry! <laughs> yeah, you're right. Alright, let's go! We're going to save those trapped in the castle! Ooh, good first level music. Alright, so we got our cast of characters. We got Roy and... Yep, yeah, that's about the same basis that Elwood has, so Roy's gonna be pretty lackluster. I have heard Roy is one of the worst lords in the series, but... I don't know what anyone's girlfriends are, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna use him, because he's the main lord, and I kinda have to, but... Plus, oh, the rape... Strong against armored. Is it not strong against mounted units anymore, or just armored units? It only has 25 uses as well, so that's not as good as Fire Emblem 7. All right. And then here we have Bad Unit. I mean, Marcus. I just angered everybody in the Fire Emblem fandom who f just worships the ground this guy walks on. A veteran knight serving fair A. Roy's teacher in the martial arts. Let's see. Wow, his bases are even worse in this than they are in Fire Emblem 7. I mean, I'm not going to use Marcus except to weaken other enemies so that other people can pick him off, but... Yeah, Marcus seems to be even worse in this game than he is in Fire Emblem 7. Although Marcus is useful in Fire Emblem 7. And necessary on hard mode. Here we have Walt, an archer serving for A, Roy's milk brother. I didn't need to know that. Really. Wow! Those are some of the worst bases I've ever seen on a unit outside of a randomizer. Four strength, four skill, five speed, two luck, four defense, and no resistance. Wow. Hey, Proxima. Oh, thanks for the follow. I I thought you were following. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, and welcome, welcome. You you haven't missed any gameplay yet. Wow. Okay. Walt, I think, is getting the bench in the first chapter. That's impressive. Here we have... Oh, yes, the Christmas calves. Alan. Knight Serene Foray. All right, those are pretty typical cavalier bases of memory, sir. Eh, maybe slightly below average. At least he comes with a sword and a lance. That's good. Then we have Lance! Okay, he's got a javelin. Cool. He has the same description. And more or less the same bases as Alan. I'm guessing Alan's gonna be the strong one, Lance is gonna be the fast one. I'm ultimately- I'm gonna use both of them, and then whoever gets better level ups I'll use long term, probably. Ooh, new computer! Very nice. I am doing quite well. Getting the new year off to a good start. Got a lot of work done today. I first day back to work, so... Yeah, things are going swimmingly thus far. Alright, the Cavs should be good, and now we have Boars. Oh, Oswin, you are not. You are only a level 1. Ugh! Okay, Boars, you're gonna be tough to use. Knight Serving Ostia. 11 defense. That's good, but not great for an armor knight. Free speed, also. And he uses lances, and all of these enemies are axe wielders. So, great. Alright, these are our ragtag group of characters. Okay, thank goodness the enemies are still weak, as they should be. Who's the boss here? Damas. Well, there's a name, Damas. The leader of the brigands roaming around Foray. He's got a steel axe already! You're not supposed to get a steel axe until chapter two! <laughs> and, yeah, okay, he's tough. He's got a lot of attack power. Very little hit rate, though. Alright, well, let's config. Animation 2, game speed fast, tech speed fast, terrain on, yep, 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 we'll turn off auto cursor. We'll keep the regular window. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Axes have trash hit rate in this game. Oh yeah, I remember that. The Iron Axe, which is the most accurate axe, only has 65 hit rate, that's really bad. Oh, and also this game uses one random number instead of two, which means that things like... Um, low percentage hit rates are going to hit a lot more frequently in this one compared to Fire Emblem 7, so that's just peachy dandy. Alright. Lance, let's get things started. Ha! Nice miss. Alright. Nice job, and Alan can finish the job. He, Alan doesn't double at base. Thus far, I'm already liking Lance a little more. Let's pull Roy in, and then the trash can stay behind. Actually, okay, here's the question. Can Marcus double at base? Or rather, one... Okay, Marcus can one round at base. Hmm. 
Well. <laughs> oh, man. I might have Marcus rescue Wolt just so that way he gets slowed down enough so that he won't roll one round fiends. I'm not going to do that right away, but I'm, I've already decided I'm not using Wolt. Wolt seems unusable. Oh, really? You can tell this is an. <laughs> you can tell this is a fan translation because they're actually swearing. <laughs> Reinforcements already, but they ain't getting to the castle so easy. Do 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 do. I'm surprised that didn't hit, to be honest. Yeah, what what the one RN system means is that stuff with lower chance to hit is going to hit more frequently, and stuff with a higher chance to hit is going to miss more frequently than in Fire Emblem 7. I've also heard that it is possible to miss a 100% chance to hit in this game. Just due to a programming error. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, Roy! Let's try Roy out. That's a weird board animation. That that was a very stiff animation, just... Can Wolt even kill this guy? Nope, Wolt can't kill this guy. Yeah, okay. As a rule of thumb, archers in Fire Emblem games are either ridiculously underpowered and terrible, or ridiculously overpowered and broken. Wolt seems like he's the first of those. All right. We'll let Lance get this kill, because Al Alan got the last kill. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think I even need to use Marcus. My guys are holding their own just fine. So, Marcus, go to visit the village. Hey, hey! Aren't you knights going to the castle? This may not be much, but this is something we'd really like to offer you. Please use it well. Ooh, money! Marcus is very popular with the ladies, you know. Oh, that's good. That's probably all the money we get to begin with, so it's a good thing we have that. There we go. And then we'll move Boars in front of Wolt, because I have... Wait, hang on. You've got 13 attack, you've got 10 attack, Roy has 5 defense. So, 8 plus 5. Oh yeah, Roy will survive 2 attacks. Okay. Walt, I don't think will. <laughs> nice dodge! Wow, yeah, Roy definitely has low attack power to begin with. Oh, maybe I should give Roy Marcus his iron sword so he doesn't waste his rapier. That might be a good idea. Ooh, Boris, can you get a kill? Nice! Even with Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. Nice job, Boars. Ooh, critical hit. Alright, I was kind of hoping I could feed that kill to Roy, but... Oh well, that's fine. Alright, I don't want <laughs> Alan to go up against all of these Axe users, so I'll just move him. I'll just keep him here. Yeah, I play slowly, so sue me. Visit. You! Guess what? Money is important! Pfft, no! Really? If you don't have it, your weapons will rust and you can't fight without your weapons! I kind of knew that, but thanks, dude. Uh, let's see. Roy still hasn't taken damage, which is great. It's great! What's in this house? Hey, if you want to do well in battle, you better use the terrain wisely. Like, if you're in a forest, the trees will cover you. There's no way enemies will have an easy time in that situation. Yep, forests do give you extra avoid. Wow, can't touch this. Mm -hmm. Can't touch this. Those fighters aren't moving. That's interesting. Eh. Cool. All right, well... <laughs> I think Walt is actually going to get the bench before Marcus. I think Marcus is going to be more useful. Although, Marcus, here, you can, here, Roy, you can take my iron sword. 
There we go. Ugh. That is kind of brutal, though. Roy just stabs his sword right through their head. Yeah, Bors is in a bit of a rough spot since he can't use swords. <laughs> I can't believe my guys have dodged all of these attacks. It's kind of ridiculous. I was I was tired this afternoon as well, Sonic. I guess my lunch was very heavy today. Why do they keep attacking Lance when Lance is doing the most damage to them by far? Ooh, first level up. Yep, welcome to Fire Emblem Six level ups. That when I played this game earlier, I definitely noticed level ups tended to be a lot worse in this game. Two getting two stats is a bad level up in Fire Emblem Seven, and it's average in this one. Ooh. Never kill for Roy. Ooh, critical hit from Roy. Not that we needed it. All right, Roy, first level up. Yep, that's a Roy level up. Great. I could kill that guy with Walt, but why would I? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mobius. I think my problem is I got too much sleep over the holidays, and now I'm used to getting more sleep than I did when I just was getting up for work every day. What's in here? It's awful! Soldiers from Bern were able to cross the border! They laid an awful attack! And even if the Allied Lords strike back, Lord Ellawood, he can no longer stand too well. Come on, this game it doesn't take place that much longer after FE7. Thus far, my favorite character that I have is Lance, definitely. Granted, Lance is only this good because his speed is higher than everybody else's. So I don't know if he's going to fall off later. Alright, the guy's not going to move off of the throne. But just in case I get hit, I'm going to move Lance here. I don't think I'm going to be using Boars. He doesn't seem like a very good unit, so... I won't be feeding as many kills to him. I, I like the Christmas calves thus far. Yeah, wow, yeah. Thus far, only getting two stats. Yep, Alan definitely seems to be the strong calf, and Lance is the fast calf. Well, both have their place. I'm probably going to go with Lance, though. How have I dodged all these attacks? I'm, I'm truly flabbergasted at how I've dodged this much stuff. Okay, let's do this. Probably shouldn't be using Roy this much, but eh, I don't care. He's the main lord. Never beaten the game. I'm using him. <laughs> that is my my mentality. Oh wait, hang on. How many people can? Okay, I'm gonna park Alan in front of Roy so we don't die. Walt and Marcus, you can just do what you do best. Hang out in the back. Okay, yeah. This this is fate. I'm using Lance. <laughs> Most likely long term, unless unless he really starts to fall off later. I also want to use Alan. Wow, Alan does pack a punch, though. Like Alan's probably going to be our boss killer. There we go. Finally, I got hit by something. <laughs> this is kind of nuts. Let's see. 
Let's just see if Boars will hit. Alright. I love how after I'm like, I'm not gonna use Boars, but I'm still giving him kills. Why is it playing the victory music? There are three enemies left, not one. Uh. In your face. Take that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alan and Lance, they're they're cleaning up. This is great. <laughs> And gee, how does it... Alright. Roy can't die to the boss. Oh, shoot, wait. Mm. I'm gonna park uh, Marcus right there, so that way I forgot the archer was... Yeah. Forgot the archer can walk across the village. There we go. Roy should be safe now. Also, Wolf can do some damage to the boss, too. Maybe. You <laughs> idiots! Can't you guys take on these dastards? And yep. <laughs> Welcome to FE6 hit rates. <laughs> um, who has vul I think Roy has vulnerabilities. Mm, superb hit rate, Walt, and damage output. Groovy boss music, though. Alright. Lance, you take this guy out. Marcus, get Roy out of there. Almost called him Ellawood. Then Alan, you can take over as boss killer. That's much better damage. Gotta say, Damas is definitely scarier than most first bosses you encounter in a Fire Emblem game. <laughs> Jake and Elwood. Might as well give Walt some experience. Dude, I'm digging the boss music. It's great. Missed an 80, yep. Bye! What the? S strong! That's Alan! <laughs> He's the strong cab. You should have known that. Level 3. Oh my gosh, he got free fins. That's actually a really good level up. HP, strength, and speed. That, that's if I, could, if I could choose any free stuff to level up, that would probably be those three. Or actually, I'd probably get defense over uh, HP. Oh well. Alright. Let's conquer the throne. <laughs> Father! Lumina! Roy, is that you? Roy! Father! Louis, Lavina! Thank goodness you're alright. Roy, thanks for coming this far. Of course, Father. How's your health? I'm fine. I'm still alive, see? But Roy, do you know why I called you back here? I'm to take over your role of leading Ferret's military and join the Lycia Alliance army. Isn't Roy, like, 15? Aren't you a little young to be leading a military? <laughs> Yes, yes you are. As you know, Burn has started to conquer Lycia. We must follow the ancient rule and send out our military to protect the land of Lycia. Yes. I really didn't want to send you out because you were still studying. But I'm not well. I would only be a hindrance to everyone else. Father. Mr. Elwood, I will accompany Roy. My father's in charge of Lycia's main army, and I could use my magic to be of some help to Roy. No, Lavina, you must return to Ostia. Why? With Hector's, with Hector's absence, there is no one currently sitting on the throne of Ostia. The people must be feeling uptight as well. You, being the daughter of the Marquis, must take the throne until Hector returns, and ease the tension of the people. Am I wrong? No, sir. Roy, first you must go to the Burn border and meet with that mercenary group that I have arranged a contract with. Oh yeah, mercenaries! I'll send Merlinus along with you. He'll be very helpful with his knowledge. Will he? He's kind of a wuss. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Father. You'll be fine. You can do it. 
go and fight, and show them who you are, the next Marquis of Ferret. Yes! Boris, I have something to ask of you. I know, my lady. I will accompany Roy in his travels and swear to protect him with my life. Thank you, Boris. Um, is Valina just walking back to Ostia with no entourage or guards when she is, like, basically the princess of the place? That's not a good idea. Roy, be careful. I know. You too, Lelina. Alright, Chapter 1 went off without a hitch. Chapter 2, The Princess of Bern. There is a small village on the border of Ferre and Bern. Here was where Roy was to meet with the mercenary band that Elwood had hired for him. Dane! <laughs> Elwood just went online, went to Craigslist, hired a mercenary band. This is great. <laughs> just east of the village is a small castle occupied by Bern's forces. When Roy had reached the village, the castle was in a chaotic state. Roy had yet to learn that the confusion going on in the castle was going to cause turbulence all over Alib. Uh-oh. Chapter 2, The Princess of Bern. Oh, she's a babe. Oh, yeah. Boss Bern music. What I'm asking is where the princess is. Yes, Captain Melody. I'm certain she was in her room this morning. I've already heard that. What I want to know is where the princess is at this moment. But she's... Uh, We're almost going into head-on war with Lysia. What if something happens to the princess? Can you take responsibility? I never should have let her highness go down to the border in the first place. I will return to Bern and inform the king about this matter. I'll try not to make it into a panic, so you must find the princess as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Is Princess Guinevere still with us? Yes, sir. She's under constant monitoring in the basement room. Good. Don't let her escape. Sir, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. Burn has plenty of enemies. The younger sister of King Zephiel. We'll be sure to get a hefty amount of money by turning her into one of their foes. We're not going to make it anywhere by serving our country anyway. So we're better off thinking of ways to make money fast, no? Yes, of course, sir. But there is one little problem with that plan. What do you mean? I just received a report. It seems that Princess Guinevere's servant has escaped. What? You fool! Why didn't you say so earlier? Go search for her immediately! Don't let her get away! Don't worry, he's a soldier. He's gonna be good. Uh, Mr. Roy, it's around here somewhere. This is where we're supposed to meet the mercenary band? Yes, though it seems they aren't here yet. Oh, wait, I can see somebody running this way. <gasps> yes, a healer so soon. Watch out! Oh, excuse me. I was in a hurry. I forgot we got her in Chapter 2. No, it's alright. I'm fine, but are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. It's good that you're not hurt. You are from Lysia, are you not? Yes, I'm the son of Marquis of Ferre. Oh, dear God! I thank you for your guidance. Please, could you help me rescue my mistress? What happened? My mistress and I were traveling to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. However, while we were passing through here, we fell into a trap set by Rude? The boss's name is Rude? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, the, the early game bosses just have some very unfortunate names. The lord of the castle just east of here. We were captured. Master Roy, we must not get into unnecessary entanglements with Burn now. But we can't neglect a person who has come to meet someone from the Alliance. But it isn't smart to charge into enemy fields, either. There's a guy in Final Fantasy VII named Rude also. <laughs> That's amazing. There they are! Hey guys! Over here! Get the servant girl! It doesn't matter whether she's dead or alive! It doesn't matter that Marcus is sitting right there! We can totally take them! <laughs> oh no. Well, Marlenis, they attack first. We have to fight, don't we? You won't pay heed of me now, will you? I guess I can't be witness to how much you've learned in Ostia. All right, we're going to charge the castle. Miss Ellen, you can hide someplace safe. No, I will accompany you. I cannot fight, but I can heal wounded allies. That's even better, honestly. Oh, but... I'm the one that got you tangled up in this mess. Please let me be of some help. Okay, but please don't strain yourself. Yes, thank you for your consideration. All right, we get two new units, so... Ellen, she's a healer, and... Okay, those are... 
Actually, those are pretty typical healer bases. One magic kind of sucks. Like, I thought Sarah's starting magic was bad, but wow, okay. So Ellen can do basically the bare minimum of healing. Having said that, she's an early game healing unit, so she's going to be good. That's nice. And character of the game right here, Merlinus, the, the true main character has arrived. I say that only somewhat facetiously. It feels like half of the game's story is just Roy talking with Merlinus. 25 con. We ain't rescuing him. Terrible stats. Terrible unit. But hey, at least he can't die. And by that I mean he dies, but he just comes back to life. All right. Marcus, go off to this village to start. Oh, you really saved us! If those people got into our village, I don't know what would have happened to this precious sword. I was really scared. An armor slayer? Okay, that's gonna be good. Actually, armor slayers are genuinely gonna be good in this, because this game has triple effective might. Uh, on effective weapons. We also have Rude. I can't believe his name is actually Rude. A knight put in charge of a castle on the border between Burn and Lycia. He's got a javelin. Oh, so we can't just pick at him from a distance. All right, well... He's, he's got strength and defense, and that is it. Not too bad. That's a lot of enemies there. And I don't like how they're of every weapon type. Here's Rude, but where's Reno? Uh, he's next chapter, I think. Alright. Well, let's get... Wow, Wolt doubles somebody. I don't know. I think I'd rather be named Error than Rude. Just... Speaking personally here. All right, Roy. Ugh. And you know what? This still isn't as bad as the brigand in Fire Emblem 7 named Bug. That's just... <laughs> if your name is Bug, you, that's, that's just bad luck. All right. Lance is probably going to miss one of these. No, <laughs> never mind. Dane. Lance is... Well, he's not OP, but he is real good. Basically the same level up he got last time. Okay. Well, he's leveling speed all the time, which is great. Alright. 13 attack, 11 attack. Yeah, Roy's fine. But we'll send in here... Hey, Vido, Welcome! Yes, I'm playing Fire Emblem 6. Never beaten it before, but... Thus far, everything seems to be going pretty well. Alright. Joint, joint, joint! Yeah, I saw this one coming. Oh no! You stabbed me! It's okay. We can have Ellen patch that up. Oh, you got a hand axe! <laughs> that hit rate isn't very good. <laughs> Vado, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome aboard. Hey, no worries, but <laughs> you have a good sleep, man. <laughs> I need to catch up on sleep myself, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yes! Best character. They should be around here somewhere. Thaney, could you go and check to see if the Thoray army is around here? Sure! Oh, great, Thaney. <laughs> How do you pronounce... Diak! Who's our client this time? The Ferre family, one of the nobles of Lycia. The Marquis's son is going to join the Lycia Alliance. So we're going up against Burn? That's what it looks like. A worthy opponent! Time to show some skill, eh? Burn. This one's going to be tough. Better be careful. I got the most recent wrong! <laughs> I don't know what to tell you! Use... Use Lot. He's extremely base, same as Barf. <laughs> I'm going to use the characters that I want to use, honestly. I know some people are like, you have to use this unit, you have to use this unit, don't use this unit. I'm just going to use who I feel like. <laughs> I think I found them, but it looks like they're fighting somebody down there. What? A battle's already started? We better hurry! Old translation means hue underflow. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> Okay, new characters. We have Diek. He is a mercenary, so he's going to be good. An ex-pit fighter from Etruria. He's now a traveling mercenary. Well, he looks pretty boss, and he's a mercenary. He tends to be real good. Yeah, those are some great bases. 9 strength, 10 speed, 13 con. And 6 defense ain't too shabby either. Yeah, I'm definitely using Diek. Deck? Dick? I don't... 
It wouldn't be Dick, because there's an E there, so it's like Deek. Deek? Dyek? I don't know. I'll say Deek, maybe. Here's Thaney. Oh, boy. <sighs> so, um... For those of you who just tuned in, I've played part of this game before. I played up to around Chapter 10. I really tried using Thaney, and maybe I just got unlucky, but my gosh, was she terrible when I used her before. 12 speed. Great. She's a flyer. That's also great. But man, I don't think she ever leveled up more than two stats at a time, and I don't think she even once ever leveled strength. Which, combined with her four con, means that she basically just can't damage stuff. Yeah. Well. Shanna needs to early promote to be good. Or Shanna slash Thaney. Yeah, maybe that's the case. I mean, she is a flyer, so she has some good utility for rescuing and movement, which is nice, but... Yeah, as far as combat goes, she struggles. Here we have Ward, a young man fighting alongside Deke. He's got a hammer, and oof. Okay, so... Well, actually... I guess those bases aren't terrible. That defense is bad. You're supposed to be a physical unit, so you're going to be taking a lot of damage. You kind of remind me of Dorcas a little bit. And that is not a compliment. And then we have Lot. Ooh, Hand Axe, that's good. Those seem like comparatively much better bases. Okay, I like Lot a lot more than Ward. 12 Con, yeah! Okay, Lot could be a passable Axe Fighter. I know Axes are very inaccurate in this game, but, eh, who knows. Hue Underflow means you can get Hue with 42 <laughs> magic and 42 skill. Oh, I want to do that. <laughs> Early promoted channel with an Iron Sword makes the West Isles a joke. That's... that's certainly possible. I, that is one thing. I used to be very much against early promotion. After pl trying to play Hector Hard Mode, I realized early promotion can actually be very good. Alright. Now let's get back to the gameplay. Lots of Armor Knight in disguise. Highest defense growth in the game besides one spe- Oh, I know, the, I know the one special unit. I know Carl's in this game, and wow, that is a really good Roy level up. <laughs> he got speed! I'm so proud of you, Roy. <laughs> That's so fantastic. Yeah, I don't know anybody's growth rates in this game, so <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm just gonna use who looks cool and who ends up... Dane! Lance is the MVP. Like, what on earth? That's his, like, third 3% crit? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm using Lance. I don't care. I'm using Lance. Alright. Axe Fighter here. Okay, he can't really do anything to... <laughs> Two boars. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, yeah. Finish him! <laughs> oh, nice. So FE6 has good promotion bonuses. That's that's good to know. S some, some of the promotional bonuses in FE7 were not great. Looking at you, assassin. I also know Swordmasters and Berserkers get an absurd critical hit bonus. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. <laughs> this is what I'm using Wolt for. He can weaken enemies so that way Lance can one-round them. <laughs> Alright. That's a lot of people coming this way. <laughs> uh, I think maybe we should regroup with the other units. But I will have Lot try to take on that soldier. Lot, I'm throwing you to the wolves. Oh yeah, Marcus is here. Um, Marcus, you can just... I'm not using you, so you can just visit the houses. Ah, uh, free weapons, swords, axes, and spears. Remember, boys, swords beat axes, axes beat spears, and spears beat swords. Just remember that, and you'll have an easy time. I know the weapon triangle. FE6 is player phase focused. That's kind of nice. FE7 is very much enemy phase focused, so... Oh, dude, Lot doubles at base! Well, he doubles soldiers at base. You know, that's better than Bart Ray, so... <laughs> Alright, have a good night, Vadoo. Thanks for stopping in, and I'll be streaming this every Monday and Wednesday for the next while, so feel free to join in those times. Have a great night, and catch up on some sleep. <laughs> next time Artie talks in a weird voice, you want that one? <laughs> I do do a pretty good old man voice. <laughs> Because I'm an old man myself. <laughs>
Wow, the, the speech bubble's actually off screen. That's great. The forts... Uh, that guy has an interesting face. Maybe that's rude to say, but he's, <laughs> he's like sticking out his chin with his mustache. The forts are the key to this kingdom's defense. If you're there, it's much easier. The enemy will miss easily, and the damage will be reduced. Also, your wounds are slightly healed. Yeah, that's pretty great. All right. This looks like a job for... Well, it could be a job for Roy, but I'm going to use Alan. Ugh. All right. Shriek! Man, you gotta love the great movement Cavaliers have. It's so good. Oh, Boris, how did you take damage? Don't worry, Ellen will heal you. Oh, I should turn off Ellen's animations. The healing animations are not that good. And I can do that by using Solo. And there we go. Okay, that's a lot of enemies coming this way. I don't like that. Alright, Deke. I'm confident you can get the job done. Oh yeah, look at that! Ugh. I love the mercenary animation. How many front lift flips does he do? That's fantastic. Well, if you're anything like Raven or Harkin, you are going to be a very good unit. No, doesn't even care that he's at weapon triangle disadvantage. What a boss. Alright. Ellen, I need you to heal up a lot, because he's taking a hit. Oh my gosh, Walt one rounds this guy. It's a Christmas mi- Wow, Walt dodged. It's a Christmas miracle. I know, it's Christmas has already passed, but... You know, maybe Walt gets really good level-ups. If he gets really good level-ups, maybe I'll give him a try. Mm. Nice doge. Man, that guy's kicking butt. Okay. Oh yeah, but Lot has a hand axe, so watch out, Beetle. Sarge is right on your heels. I love how they still all look like Dorcas, even though this came out before Dorcas was even invented. Okay, give me that hand axe. Oh, Wade. That is a low hit rate. But he at least hit once. Alright, good night, Mobius! Dorcas is a character in Fire Emblem 7. Have a good night. Oh my gosh. Is this something that Fanny can finish off? My gosh. She needs to hit both of the... And Lance can clean up if she... If she fails. Alright, Thaney. You gotta hit both of these. Nice job. I'm gonna give you another try, because Pegasus Knights can be really useful. But you're gonna be hard to use. Oh, hey! I'm just gonna put Lance on the fort so he'll be invincible. <laughs> Marcus is like, I'm coming! <laughs> just wait! <laughs> A bow has great power against flying enemies. If they get close, you can tear them apart! And vice versa. Rude, I don't think you're winning this one. <laughs> oh, 4%. I mean, I laugh, but that still can hit. <laughs> Two things you will learn by playing Fire Emblem. The first, 99% chance does not mean 100% chance. And the second thing is, 1% chance does not mean 0% chance. You will learn these lessons the hard way. Oh, Dane. Finish him, Fanny. I do like how accurate that Slim Lance is. Alright, so Wade kinda sucks. Which is a little bit of a shame. Oh, we need to get Thaney out of there. <laughs> Why 
Walt to the rescue! Did it just say relapse or release? Probably said release. We'll plop a lot over here. Lance, you can do this, and then we can have... We can trade over his javelin to Alan, and Alan can get the finishing blow. I'm probably not going to use both of them long term, but at the very least, they're both very good right now. Oh, please hit. Nice one, Alan! Man, the random number generator is definitely cooperating with me right now, which is wonderful. What do you sell? Only vulneraries. Oh, we have a lot of cash. Who has vulneraries? You have only one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, never mind. We've got plenty of vulneraries we don't need to buy anymore. All right, and then Boris goes humpity dumpity over here. Ouch! Dane. Alan's a boss. And so is Lance. <laughs> I know I know Marcus is supposed to be like the crutch character of the game, but man, Lance is my crutch character. Like, look, my gosh. He's so good. Alright, this looks like a kill for Lot. Alright, normally I don't like fighters, but Lot seems to be pretty good. Maybe I'll use him. You got 9 HP, can Thaney finish the job? Possibly. Yeah, I can always rescue her out of the way if she misses one of those. Dang, and she dodges that too. Wow! All of these low percent crits! I'm excited for me, but I'm also worried because this means the enemies can have this happen as well. Okay, pretty typical Pegasus Knight level up. No strength. That's okay. That Look at that smile. How can you say no to that smile? It's adorable. We're gonna heal Ward up. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Marcus is still here, guys. <laughs> Don't leave without him. Wait. <laughs> oh. Lots in range of that mercenary fellow. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Deke is a slightly higher level than everybody else, so I don't want to use him a ton this chapter. But he'll be he might be useful against that boss with the armor slayer. Whoa! I don't like that 2% critical hit chance that he had. <laughs> 2% critical hit is risky! 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 Alright, heal up, Alan. You heal as many people as you can. Alright, Roy's level 3, Thaney's level 2. We're giving the kill to Thaney. No idea how many of these characters I'm using long term, but... Eh. Thaney's got the cute factor down, so I want to use her. So sue me. You're out of range of the bow, guy. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, Axe Fighter, do you want to fight the Deke, or do you want to fight Lot? Be careful. <laughs> Lot's pretty dangerous. We also need to get Roy up here. Oh, shoot, he had a talk. Gotta have him talk with Deke. Oh, or he can attack Roy. Okay. Yeah, sure, that works. Love that victory music. Alright. Oh, wow, that guy's just not moving. Okay. That's weird. Okay, cool. Ugh, man. 
Can we appreciate that this burn fighter just took a giant axe to the face and shrugged it off like it was nothing? Alright, you've got 13 attack, you've got a... Yeah, okay. Roy can survive. If Roy dies, it's all over, so... Alright, boss... I think Deke with the Armor Slayer is going to do very well against the boss. Or I can just use the Fighter Bros. The Hammer Bros. Because I can trade the Hammer back and forth, so they can take turns. Wow! Ellen with her, her, with her one magic can't even fully heal up Lance when he was only missing, like, <laughs> I think 12 HP. <laughs> Normally I would finish him off, but I don't want... I don't want him getting the experience points. On Wolt, they would just go to waste. Alright. Okay, he's going for Roy. Guess that kind of makes sense. You fool! If you attack me, I only get stronger. Because that's how Fire Emblem works. Ow! My chest! My chest! <laughs> we'll top you off. Alright. Get a little bit of experience, Roy. I'm sure you won't be able to promote till super late, but we can level you up right now. Easy kill for Thaney. I take Pegasus Knight kills where I can get them. <laughs> All right, Ward, you're going to trade the hammer to Lot. Lot, how do you fare against this guy while using the hammer? Okay, you destroy him, but that is a very low hit rate. I'm gonna do it, though. Just when I thought luck was with me! Whoa! Lot! <laughs> you monster! You just smashed his head open with that thing. Oh my gosh, Lot got speed. He's an axe wielder who gets speed. Okay, that's official. I'm, I think I'm using Lot. <sighs> Let's, let's have him trade to the Iron Axe, because I think he'll kill with the Iron Axe now as well, and that's much more accurate. Okay, now we can talk with Roy, with Deke. Are you Roy of the Fairy family? Who are you? I'm Deke. I think you've heard the news from an old guy named Merlinus. So you're the leader of the Mercenary Band. It's just a little group, really. I'm sorry we're late. I didn't think that a battle was already going on. Well, we have our issues. No, no, we're not blaming you for it. Actually, everyone's all excited and saying that they can show off their skills already. Thank you. That's encouraging to hear. Alright then, let's get this battle over with, shall we? Man, Deke... If I, if I had to hire a mercenary, like, obviously I would fight, hire Boba Fett, but... Deke would be a pretty close second. He seems like a pretty swell guy. Alright. And we don't really need to progress all the rest. Alright, Rude, you're so going down, man. Oh no, Bot doesn't kill with the Iron Axe. But he doubles with the Iron Axe, so he actually does kill with the Iron Axe. <laughs> Greed only brings you ill fate. It's true. Bye, Brood. Dang. Alright, the veins are going pretty well. Alright, last thing you gotta do on any level, make sure your healer tops off everyone's HP. Gotta get that healer experience. So Lot needs a top-off, and Thaney needs a top-off. Alright. And I think Alan and Lance can support each other as well, so... I would assume Alan and Lance can support each other. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't even try... I, the only support in the game I really want to go out of my way to get is the Elowid and Molina supports. There we go, first Ellen level up, let's see what she gets. Hopefully she gets magic. Hopefully she would get magic and a little something more, but you know what? I get what I ask for. 
Let's conquer the throne. Uh, <laughs> Master Roy, we have rescued a lady trapped in the basement! That must be Ellen's mistress. Have her come here. Yes. Dang, she hot! Your Highness! Ellen, oh, are you alright? I never thought that you would do such a brave thing for me. You had me worried, Ellen. I wanted to rescue you no matter what, so... It is fine, Ellen. Thanks to you, I am safe now. I am in your debt. May I ask your name? I'm Roy, son of Elwood, the Marquis of Ferre. Yes, and I am... Your Highness, are you sure? It is all right, Ellen. My name is... Guinevere. Guinevere?! That's impossible! That's the name of the Princess of Bern! Yes, that is who I am. What?! Do you plan on attacking us now?! Merlinus, wait a second. I beg your pardon, Lord Roy, but... I want to speak with her. Give me some time, will you? <laughs> if Master Roy says so. You are indeed Princess Guinevere from Bern? Yes. I am not sure if you will believe me, however. Even if you are not the Princess of Bern, I can tell from your actions and your dress that you are certainly someone of high social status. But, if you are indeed Princess Guinevere, something doesn't seem right. Ellen told me that you are intended to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. Yes, that is correct. Why, if you are the Princess of Bern? I want to find a peaceful way of ending the war. I figured if I could speak to someone from Lycia, I could find some solution. Your brother started this war. Is it in your power to stop it? I certainly wish to stop it. No, it must be stopped. I see. Anyway, will you come with us to meet the Lycia Alliance army? I want to meet Lord Hector and see what he thinks about the matter. Honestly, you will take me? Yes, if there's a possibility to avoid bloodshed and end this war, then I believe that we must try it, no matter how small of a chance. Roy, that would sound a lot more convincing if you didn't const if you weren't constantly shoving your sword through enemies' faces. Like, just like, oh yeah! Look at this! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Truly. Guinevere is a real winner. Alright. Next chapter. We can do one more chapter tonight, I think. Just to the north of There territory stands Castle Arafen. Oh, I remember that from FE7. That was the, uh... Th that had the Marquis who was kind of racist. He wasn't that great. The Lysi Alliance had gathered here to discuss the matters of going up against Burn. However, Roy and Guinevere were only half a day away from Castle Arafen when a messenger brought them news that they could not believe. The message was this. Burn has a trio of elite generals called the Free Dragon Lords. Two of these three, General Brenya and General Narshin, have attacked Castle Arafen and nearly decimated the Lysia Alliance army. The guy on the right looks really nice. Although the morale of the Ferre army went down severely, Roy led his group towards Castle Arafen to find survivors and check the damage. If two of the Dragon Lords are there, we don't stand a chance, even with Marcus. I'm just saying, Marcus, Marcus is gonna fall off. Chapter three, late arrival. Ooh, imperial music. Oh my gosh, Zephiel is here too. Your Majesty, we have captured the enemy leader. Good, breed him before me. No, Hector! You, Zephiel, the King of Burn. Damn you! Ah, oh, Lord Hector. I must praise your ability of putting su up such a good fight against two of our dragon lords. I suppose they do not call you the leader of the Lycia Alliance for nothing. However, you are not good enough. Pray while you can, for you end here. Why? Hmm? Burn and Lycia, we were always on good terms with each other. Even when you took the throne, we have always paid our respects towards Burn. Respect? Don't be ridiculous. Lycia, no, this entire continent may, must go under my rule. That is the only way to liberate this world. I lack the time to be worried about such trivial matters as respect. To liberate this world? What do you mean? It is of no importance to you. You are going to die anyway. Someone, take him away! Throw Lord Hector into the dungeon. Yes, sir! Your Majesty, I will now return to the Sakae Plains. Yes, you may be on your way. One feed before I leave, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon, but I do not think it is such a good idea to put too much trust into sinister people. 
Do you mean Idun? Yes. Our soldiers call her the Dark Priestess and do not approve of her presence. I understand that she is a shaman of great powers, however... Brenya, do you not have faith in me? Yes, of course I do, Your Majesty. I just thought that... Then all you must do is follow my orders. Understood? Yes, I will do whatever His Majesty wishes. Do you not have faith in me? Dear, dear, the things I say sometimes. Zephyr, what happened to you, man? So Lord Hector is still alive? Yeah, that's for sure. I saw some of Burn's soldiers take him into the castle. Who's this dude? Chad, was it? Do you know the inside of the castle Arafen well? I guess. Wait, are you guys planning on going in to save Lord Hector? I wouldn't try that if I were you. The bulk of Burn's forces are gone, but there are still a decent number of soldiers in the castle. You know, it would be suicide to try to charge them with your army. Perhaps. But we can't afford to lose Lord Hector. And you said that their main forces are gone, right? Then there is a chance we could win. I see. Then I guess I'll go alone too. I could show you around the castle. What? No, no, don't feel pressured. If you could just explain what the interior of the castle looks like... I also want revenge against Burn. Come on, let me go with you. Alright, then I'll be counting on you. Of course! Leave locked chests and doors to me! Master Roy, I beg your forgiveness of my brother's doings. I didn't think you would invade Lysia so soon. My lady, there's no point in dwelling over the past. Please do not blame yourself. Besides, Lysia is still intact. If we could get our leader, Lord Hector, out of harm's way, we can unite Lysia once again and fight. We must recapture Castle Arafen for all of our sakes. And for Lelina's sake. Let's go! Okay. We just got a unit. I wonder who it is. It's Chad. He's a thief. A boy living in an orphanage on the Burn Alicia border. I have no idea who he is, why he's here, or how Roy met him, but I guess he's just some random guy. They're like, hey, come along, fight in our army. He's like, sure. Okay, not very good bases, but at least he has 10 speed, so he can steal a lot. All right, cool. Any Anything here worth stealing? We got a javelin, iron lance, iron lance, javelin, iron lance, iron lance, iron lance, iron lance. Okay, a lot of lances here. Okay, we got vulneraries on this guy near the chests. That's good to know. Okay, like, every enemy on this level has a lance, and that's gonna put a hamper on our sword wielding characters. Cool! Alright. Literally no axe wielders. Sweet. Alright, this looks like a job for a lot, also. Okay, village up there. We gotta go there. Alright. Oh, great. This... There's a door there. Alright, that's a sideways door. You thought you could tr trick me. Okay, there's also a village over there. Alright, I think boars we're gonna send north. Boars should be able to deal with the soldiers and the archer very easily. Chad, we're gonna need to go into the castle. Let's see how Alan fares against these guys. Oh, wait, he doesn't have a lance. Crud. I guess he has a javelin. Let's see how you fare. Okay, you missed, you got hit. Alright. Eh, that's fair. Alright, Alan, second level up for you, or maybe third? Defense? That's good to have on a cav. Again, yeah, they keep leveling up only two things at a time, which I don't approve of. We're gonna heal Alan early and then rescue Alan out of there. I wonder if Chad can finish this guy off. He can, but I'm afraid he's gonna die to the archer, so I'm gonna say that's a no. Here, Walt, you can actually get- wait, what have I done? Walt's in the way of two fiends. Okay, well he has his first level up, so what are you getting? Benched! <laughs> Walt! You have crappy bases, and you give me a level up like that? No, you immediately go on the bench. I don't give a second chance for something like that. Alright, you have an iron lamp. Okay, actually... Okay, Walt has four defense. So he'll take 11 damage, and then he'll take six damage. So Walt actually is going to die. If we don't do something. Great! Oh, we can't do something. You know what? If Walt dies, then he dies a loser, and I won't miss him. 
that's kind of how I feel. And besides, Archer Man might... If Archer, if the Archer moves first, he's going to go for Ellen. So, I just hope the Archer moves first. So I actually will not rescue Ellen. Oh, actually, wait. I can rescue Wool. With Wade. Wade might get doubled. No, he won't. I'll park Merlinus right here. Oh, never mind. I can... We got the pro strats going on right here, ladies and gentlemen. Do I really want to send Boars up there all by himself? Yes, because that leads to a dead end, and I'm not going to use him anywhere else. Boars, you're slow, but you, you got this, bro. I have full confidence. Alright, they're getting Merlinus. If Merlinus dies, I really don't care. Because he comes he always comes back. Oh, he dodged! The man in the donkey cart dodged. Oh yes! It's one of Nino's sons! Oh, I gotta use him. Thanks for taking care of the children, Reverend. Of course. We of the Elamine Church will good take good care of it, or the orphans. And what will you do, Lou? I'm going to stay here. I still have some things to do. I see. Please do not stress yourself. Yes, thank you. Make sure you listen to what the priest says, okay? Aren't you coming with us, Lou? I'm going to wait for Chad, and then we'll catch up with you. Yay! Chad's coming too? That's right. Then I want Ray to come too. Yeah. It would be great if Ray came back and we could all go together, wouldn't it? Children, we must be off. See you later, Lou. Hurry and catch up, okay? Sure. Sorry. But I've chosen not to run away anymore. Yes. Good job, Mr. Bishop. Take those kids out of there. Alright, let's get the javelin, bro. Ugh. Yeah, boars will have no problem going up that way. Wonderful. Alright. Time for a lot to clean up! Ugh. I wish I had a dancer so I could use a lot more. I have a feeling I don't think I get a dancer until... Actually, no. I remember, I played to the chapter where I got the dancer, and that chapter was so sucky. A lot! That's a sucky level up. Come on, man! I can't believe I'm using Wolt more, but... Oh, well, he won't kill. Hey, Sonic. That's, that's good. Small naps can honestly help a lot. We're on Chapter 3 now. Oh, this is perfect! Thaney can get the kill! Nice job, Thaney. Nice job, Wolt. Way to set up kills. Alright, um, does Ward double these guys? Okay, Ward does double. Cool. Uh. Uh. Take that! I wanna s I'm curious to see what Ward's level ups are gonna be like. I have a feeling Ward is gonna be the Dorcas of the game. Where he's pretty- he's okay at first, but then falls off real hard. Let's use Chad. Oh, I forgot to turn on Chad's animations. Gotta change that. Alright, who needs the EXP most? How is Alan a higher level than Lance? That doesn't seem right. Well, Lance can take care of this guy. All right, Lance. It's level up time. All right. You know what? In Fire Emblem Six, if they if they level up three fiends, I take that as a good level up. That's that's kind of the attitude I'm gonna have. Oh my gosh, Roy can finish him. Dog on it. The GBA animations are great. Roy's animations aren't the best, but a lot of the others are really good. All right, we can send Marcus over here, get the village. We should probably start using Deke some more.
this. All right. That makes sense. Excuse me. Heal up Merlinus. <laughs> Gonna park him there just to draw out the enemy fire. <laughs> <laughs> the enemies just are like, oh my gosh, we can attack Merlinus! We're gonna attack Merlinus. I gotta admit, Alan is really good at this point, too. Because he's reliably doubling a lot of enemies, and he has more attack power than Lance. But Lance is still my man. Roy's my boy, but Lance is my man. Kind of interesting that it pit you up against like a hundred axe or a hundred lance users in this battle when you only have two axe wielders. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten a level up with boars yet, because using him is a boar. <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed to dodge that. All right, who's in here? Oh, you again! You're the remnants of the Lycian army, right? Here, take this and go quickly. There are a bunch of Burn soldiers here. Burn may govern this whole area, but we're friends of Lycia. Ooh, a men's staff. That's... Ellen's gonna need that. She can barely heal people properly. Speaking of healing people properly, let's top off Lance. Alright, that guy has eight health left. Can Chad finish him? Yeah, but he's going to eat a powerful attack. Ouch. But Chad's my only thief, so I have to use him at least a little bit. And he gets a lot of experience, which is way great. Do any of you here have javelins? That guy does, but I want to steal his vulnerabilities, so... Rats! Well, I'm still going to keep Boars up there by himself, but it seems like a little bit of a waste. I want to use a lot more, you know? Oh, you don't have a Javelin Sonic? Rats. Well, at least I tried. Alright, Lance. Alan and Lance, the dynamic duo. There's really nothing... Alice... Al <laughs> Alan... Lance and Merlinus. The dynamic duo. Oh, we can see... Oh, Zephiel's there! If we get the... If we were somehow able to get there early, could we fight Zephiel right at the beginning? Narshan, what is causing all that noise? Oh, what voice to give this guy? Probably what's left of the enemy tr are, are trying to put up a fight in their last hope. Your Highness, shall we use the dragons? No, I do not wish to put the Dark Priestess through any trouble. Do not worry, we can handle them by ourselves. Not this time, I do. Send the dragons back to burn as we planned. Yes, if His Highness wishes it to be so. I will be off to burn soon as well. Narshid, I'm going to leave Lysia up to you. What shall I do with the remaining forces of the Lycia army? Kill all of those that stand before us. Does that include women and children? Of course. Annihilate them enough so that they will no longer even think about going against us. Leave that to me, sire. <laughs> well, there goes any pretense of Zephiel being a sympathetic character out the window. Humph! I wonder what his majesty sees in that I don't girl. Well, I think I'll be going as well. He literally just told you to kill everybody. He's like, well, I want to go to Burger King. <laughs> Slater, I'm trusting this castle with you. Slater, the first actually kind of normal name guy. Are you leaving? Yes, one of the Marquises who turned against Lysia has a special gift for me. He says it's a girl from Etrurian nobility or something. <laughs> Bruh, that's not okay. From Etruria? She must be very beautiful then. Yes, the Marquis tells me she's still young, but very beautiful. Ugh. I would be looking forward to it if I were you, sir. Please be careful on your way there. You be careful too, Slater. 
Don't you dare get defeated by the remainders of Lysia's army. If you do, I will personally tear you apart. Well, we're gonna personally tear him apart. Have mercy, sir! <laughs> Narshan seems like a very nice guy. He's a great boss. <laughs> Different kind of javelin than I was speaking of, Sonic. Alright, Boris first level up! What's it gonna be? Will it be something good? Well, you know, he got resistance. As an armor knight, that's a rarity, but doggone it, these level ups are so bad compared to Fire Emblem 7 level ups. Now I get why people like Marcus in this game. He's the only one that actually might have halfway decent stats in the long term. And that's sad. That doesn't mean Marcus is good, that just means everybody else sucks. Except you, Lance. Can Lot... No, he's still out of range. <laughs> Boris, you'll get there eventually! <laughs> oh, wait. Wade, or Ward, has a hand axe. We're giving that to you, and... Wait, Ward, darn it. I think he's Wade in some translations. We can hand axe through the wall. Ugh. Even if Walt sucks, he's still good for setting up other people to kill. Oh, Chad, you, you gotta get healed, man. Alright, see you, Sonic. Thanks for joining in. If you're streaming when I finish, I will raid you. Good luck with Link's Awakening. It's gonna be a fun one. All right. Thaney's gonna get a kill! I'm glad the enemies aren't stupidly hard like they would be on hard mode. That would be really bad. Yeah, that's good. We can keep our cabs there. Alright, Lance. Go to town. Godspeed, Lance. <laughs> if I can keep them up against the wall... Because here's the thing, if I visit the village, I get Lou, and Lou can immediately kill one of those guys. Darn it. Can't attack them through the wall. And they can still read, and that's annoying. Alright, Lot, you're taking center stage. It would be kind of cool if this was a cracked wall or a door or something, so you can kind of go one of two ways. I think that would be nice. Actually, six defense on Thaney is a lot better than I was expecting. Like, she's actually a little tanky for... Well, her HP is low, but... I mean, that she ain't too shabby. Wait, I don't want... I don't want Wade getting all the kills. Alright. Ooh, nice dodge, Thaney. That's really good. Beautiful. I really hope Lou doesn't miss on his first attack, because that would be bad. No damage. Alright, first things first. Visit the village, get Lou. Excuse me, you're from the Weeseen army, right? Please let me fight with you! I don't have any useful information, but I can use a bit of magic! Please let me help you! 
All right, Lou! A young mage who grew up in an orphanage that burned destroyed. Yeah, because Nino, his mom, wasn't around to raise him. Oh. Okay, that's basically Urk spaces. All right, so you're Urk. I mean, the problem is, I know for a fact Lelina is also a mage, and I'm definitely using Lelina, so I'm not sure if I'll be using you that much, Lou. But, at the very least... Oh, wow. Does he die to both of these guys? He does. Lou, you better hit. Okay, thank you. Forgot to turn on his animations. That could have ended badly. If Lou had missed there, I think he would have been dead. Unless he had managed to dodge one of those attacks. Alright, guy with 5 HP left. This is definitely a job for Chad. Alright, Chad's first level. That's a good level as a thief! HP, speed, and strength. Strength on a thief is good. I mean, strength on basically any unit is good. Alright, Lot and Ward. You guys are going to have to hold down the fort here, I think. Okay, one of those guys has a sword, and one of them has... Alright, wonderful. I still think you guys are going to hold down the fort, though. Alan and Lance will be right behind you, getting support. If he wants to attack Thaney, he is more than welcome to. And Deke will be right... No, he's not going to attack. He's going to attack either Lou or he's going to attack Ward, because Ward can't fight back. Oh, no! There are still ambush spawns in normal mode? That's not cool. Ambush spawns are the perfect example of fake difficulty. You can't have those. Not only is it, like, fake difficulty, it's just like, Oh, enemies can spawn and immediately move and screw you over, herp derp It's also totally unrealistic. If you think that ambush spawns are realistic, what's more realistic? Like, seeing troops that are approaching and being like, Oh, no, there are troops approaching. We better, like... Oh no, there are troops approaching. Like, we better back off or we can engage them. Like, you get, like, the chance to see them coming and adapt accordingly. Or just like, oh, troops appro- Oh, the troops teleported right in front of us and killed us without us being able to react. Because the second one of those is what ambush spawns are. <laughs> Granted, they're far away from us right now, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Alright, Lou. Nice job. He's got a cool palette. Normally don't like the color yellow, but that actually looks very nice. Now, unfortunately, they're going to be totally unable to reach... Actually, oh no, what we have to do is cut all the way around there. But I don't want to go that way. That's where the ambush spawns are. Alright. Let's try for the 65. Nice job, Ward. Okay, you're Mr. Javelin. We're gonna take you down with Lot. I hope Lot gets some of that promised defense soon. Because that would be really great. And I think it's Deke time. Oh, Deke doesn't one round this guy. But he sure does help! <laughs> well, I bet he would one round with the Iron Blade. That's okay. I can set up a kill for Thaney. Wow. Thaney, you really need more strength, lady. Like, you really need more strength. If you're anything like Florina, Florina has a 50% strength growth. I think that's probably a lot lower in Fire Emblem 6, but you never know. Alright, who needs healing the most? A lot does, but I can't reach you. Thaney also could use some... some attention. Alright, we'll heal Thaney. This is really good first map music. 
I really like this song. Then again, I like a lot of Fire Emblem music. Oh, one other thing. Marcus, give that men's staff to Ellen. She honestly might need it to top off a lot. Alright, more horses are coming. Is it the same Iron Sword? Yep, Iron Sword and Javelin. Wunderbar. Man, like, all my guys are injured in some way. How the heck did that happen? Alright, Lot, yeah, I'm gonna need a men's staff to top off Lot's HP. Just because of how low Ellen's magic stat is. Equip the Iron Axe for better evasion. Everybody's crammed together in a little ball, and that's normal. I should probably send Marcus back to at least rescue one of these characters. He probably won't make it back in time, but eh. You fool! You're going up against Lance? Do you even know who this guy is? What a maroon! Lance leaves nobody alive. I, I say as Lance left that guy alive. Alright, Thaney, let's see you throw a javelin. Nice job! Alright, my man Lot. I love how Lot can one round. Okay, well, he can't if he misses an 84% chance to hit. But that's just Fire Emblem 6 for you. You know what we can do, though? Come on. Nice job, Ward. Alright, this should be first Ward level up. Let's see what he's got. Are you going to be the next Dorcas? Jane Ward! That was a good level! That's the best level up I've seen yet! Okay, maybe I overestimated you. I still think I like a lot better, but... Alright. I may have just gotten really lucky there. But I will definitely be keeping my eye on you. I think we could expect great fiends from you, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Wait, hang on. So you have a hand axe, and you have an iron axe. Okay, he can't move past the throne. All right. Then we'll park your behind there, and that seems like a good idea. You've got an iron lance. Great. Let's heal Deke and send him out. All right, Ellen. She got magic again. Okay, so... She has level magic every time. That's good. Yeah, Lou might be useful for the boss. I haven't even taken a look at Slater. One of Bird's lieutenants. He's got ranged weapon and a powerful weapon. Ah, his stats really aren't that different from Rude, though. So, he should be basically the same old deal. Except we can pick him from a distance with magic. Cool. I like that. You fool. Deke will destroy you. And it's not even going to be close. Ooh, what a dodge. Oh, and the hand axe should be weighing that guy down, so I think Alan might be able to double. Or even better, maybe Chad can double. He can, but that's that's not enough. What if Alan weakens him? Nope, Alan finishes the job. Alan, you're too good. Alright. Lot, you're gonna go down and take on those stupid knights down here. Should be very easy. For someone of your talents. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to park Marcus right here. On his next turn, Lou will be able to move right there. Marcus can rescue and take him a huge distance, and then someone can drop him off.
getting some good experience with Ellen, though. I like that. Shoot. Didn't move him back far enough. I would normally just send Chad here, but there's a chance Chad could die if he gets really unlucky. Plus, Chad needs to go down for stealing that guy's stuff and for getting the chest, so that is exactly where I'm going to send him. Deke can be behind you. I guess I could send Roy up. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm sure that Wade and... Or, I keep calling him Wade! I think Ward... That's because Ward isn't a real name. And I think one of the translations has him. his name as Wade. Ward and Lot, I'm sure, could get a, uh, a support together. It would be a wasted opportunity if they can't. Give him that hand axe back. Hmm, hand axe doesn't do as much damage as I would like. I would like to be able to trade that with him, but... Why did I move everyone farther away? That didn't make any sense. That's okay, Lou can be brought in time to help take on the boss. And that's what really matters. Actually, no, no, you know what? It's good that Lot has a hand axe equipped. That way he won't kill this guy, and Chad will be able to steal from him on the next turn. That's a good thing. Alright, Lance, you can soften this guy up. Roy can get the KO. Or if you want to get a 3% critical hit again, then I'm also cool with that. Nah, alright. That's fair. There we go. Level up for Roy. Is it going to be better than his last one? That's a good Roy level up. Strength and speed. If, if Roy levels strength and speed at the same time, I'll take it. That seems like a good idea to me. Oh yeah, and Deke still has the Armor Slayer, which I could use. Alright, that should be good. Ouch! Alright, Lot finished him off the Hand Axe, no problem. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's that 3% critical hit. Wow. Lance is unstoppable. Like, I... If I look at the Fire Emblem 6 tier list after this, I better see Lance at the very top. Oh, that guy's just not even moving? He's gonna wait for something like, Oh, I'm gonna wait for Chad to be there. Because that would really stink. Gotta get Fanny close, just in case something stupid happens. Oh my gosh, Merlinus, when did you take so much damage? He's probably been heavily damaged for a while now. Oh my gosh, Merlinus doesn't level up on a chapter-by-chapter -chapter basis. You literally can only level up Merlinus by having him keep constantly get attacked by enemies. That's, that's cruel. Wow, that's pretty impressive, Deke, but I still think I'm going to go for a lot. He is a very popular choice. Three, four, five. Oh, cool. Excellent. All right.
And uh, yeah, Boris, you're not you're not reaching us again. That's not happening. Okay, this guy's just oh he's he's guarding the treasure. That's why I steal his vulnerabilities. Now we need to get him away. Let's use the hammer. Boom. Wow, hammer just wrecks armor knights in this game. Triple effective might is is really nice. I don't know why they patched that out of the international re release of Fire Emblem 7. Big, big mistake. Alright, well, Lou can chip away at the boss at least. Uh, I won't lose if I don't win! Oh, no! Actually, he's gonna heal all that HP back, isn't he? Also, he's 10... He'll damage 16 by himself. He won't... Okay. If my calculations are, collect are correct, Lou is not going to die when he retaliates, so I can keep him there. I'm living on the edge. What can I say? He'll pull out his javelin for this. Yeah. Oh, and Lou dodged like a boss. Alright, Lou, let's see what your level up's like. Alright, solid first level up. Strength and speed. I like it. Or magic and speed. I like it. Very nice. Oh my gosh, that one extra point of speed is enough so he can double him now. Dang, get wrecked, Slater. You're no match for the son of Nino. Mend him back up. We just gotta get Lot up here. Okay, well, Fanny can even rescue him. That's fantastic. Can anyone else take him, though? Can Deke take him? He can. So now he can at least get into hand axe range, which is pretty cool. What can Roy's rapier do? Uh, it does decently, but... Uh, no, I don't think so. Ooh, 3,000 gold! Nice! I have nothing to spend it on. But I will eventually. There's no vendor on this course... I hope we can buy heal staves next chapter. That would be pretty nice. Oh no, Slater's getting stronger. What a butt. Alright, Ellen, a lot of people need healing, but I think Lot is priority number one. <laughs> Look, Mommy! One damage! It's not even worth it. I'll just... I'll let him heal for another turn so I can go ham with the hammer. What's in this chest? A halberd! Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be really good. What the hammer does to armor knights, the halberd's gonna do to horse, horse uh, units. You know, I can't help but notice, dude, that you're getting a little high on HP. Honestly, I could just leave Lou here to finish the boss. But again, I... Nah, I want Lot to get that kill. I want Lot to get the kill. Lot's my man. I got a couple units that I'm really excited to use, and Lot is one of them. Alright, and speaking of using Lot... That's a low hit rate, though. That's a very low hit rate. Okay, he's still not going to die from the Steel Lance, but he's gonna get close. 
Well, I can use Lou as a backup if necessary. That works. Alright. Oh! Lance and Alan can support already. Well, I'll definitely give them a support together. Lance! How fair is your sword today? Neither good nor bad, Alan. Cool and calm as always, I see. The other day I lagged behind you, but not in this battle! Watch and learn from my skill, Lance! Of course I'll watch you fight. Still, I have no intention of losing to you from now on, either. Well, well, what confidence! I look forward to seeing you after the battle! Well then, I'll be off. You better come quickly, too. That was an extremely generic support. But you know what? Alright. Lance gives Anima, and Alan gives Fire. Oh, if I keep them together, Lance is going to be even better now. That's wonderful. Alright, well... Vought, if you can't do this, then I'm either going to give the kill to Lou or Deke. Alright. Nice dodge. Okay. I respect it. Alright, Lot, you get one more chance with the hammer. Alright. I think I'm gonna need two men staffs to heal up Lot. Deke, go to town. There we go, die Slater. Sir Narshan, please have mercy! I ain't Sir Narshan, bro. I killed you with the Armor Slayer. Oh, Deke, that was a bad first level up, man. Come on, bro. Alright, well, we need Ellen to top off all these people. Alright, we'll start by topping off Chad. His 1 HP. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Like a boss. Oh my gosh, Ward and Lot have a support as well. Well, how can I pass that up? Okay, the supports aren't as slow in this as I heard that they were. Alright, who's next? Bring it on! Ward, can't you calm down a bit? Eh? What's that? You scared a lot? As if. Well, then we're fine, right? I go charging in and you cover up the small parts for me. We've been doing great like that all this time. Well, yeah, but... But what? Mary asked me to take care of you. Sis said that? Jeez, I'm not a kid anymore. I hope you're right. Did you say something? No, nothing. Another fairly generic support, but at least we learn a little bit more about Ward's family. Alright, let's mend up Lot. We're gonna need to do this twice. Yep. Alright, nice job. Ellen. Okay, she's got a high magic growth. She's leveled the magic every single time, and I really like that. Alright, at this point, I think it's just a case... I'm not giving Roy supports with Marcus. That ain't happening. I wonder if Deke and Lot can support. That would be nice. <laughs> That's so nice! <laughs> yeah, I hope I can buy heal staves next chapter, because I'm, I have almost no heal left. <laughs> it's like, da -da -da, aren't you gonna seize the throne? No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. <laughs> not until I top off everyone's HP to get all that healer EXP. Alright, now I will seize the throne. Master Roy, we found Lord Hector in the dungeon level! Oh yeah, Hector was dying in the dungeon while I was like, he's like, please, someone, save my life! I'm like, later, Hector, I need to I need to heal everybody to get the max experience. Like, I'm literally dying down here, but I need healer experience. You can use the healer on me! I literally completely forgot Hector was dying down there in the dungeon. Whoops! Really? Is he alright? He's severely wounded and about to die! Roy! Lord Hector! What an awful wound! We must treat it! Here, lean on my shoulder! It's alright. I won't last much longer. Lord Hector, I was taken by surprise. 
I never would have guessed that Burn had resurrected the dragons! Dragons? Yes. The dragons that we humans fought in the past. The Scouring? I have heard it. A long time ago, two races that each had half of the lead, but the humans and the dragons fought over total control of the continent. Right. The eight heroes defeated the dragons and led us humans to... victory. How did Burn use the dragons? I have no idea, but... The dragons had control of what is now Burn in the past. And Hartmut, one of the eight heroes, is the founder of Burn. Perhaps the reason lies there. Lord Hector! Roy, go to Ostia! You must lead what is left of the Lysia Alliance army instead of me. Me? But he's 15. Is there nobody else more qualified? Don't worry. In Ostia are weapons that are effective against dragons. Weapons? I have already told this to Lelina. Please take care of her, too. She may seem strong, but she's still a child. Please give her support? Yes, I will. Lelina, just one more time. Lord Hector! Shouldn't have healed all those units so much. Uh, you know, that that may have been my fault. <laughs> we don't get the good ending now because we spent too much time on that level and didn't save Hector in time. Now, Hector dies no matter what, and that, that's sad after I've played Fire Realm 7 because Hector is like one of the best lords ever. Oh, uh, well, well, that's the first three chapters of Binding Blade done. You know what? This game is a lot more enjoyable than I remember. I remember missing attacks a lot more than this. But maybe now just that I'm prepared for it, I'm Maybe I'm just going into this more prepared than I was last time. I'm also better at Fire Emblem now than I was last time I played. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this stream. I hope you all enjoy this stream series. I'll be doing this every Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know how many chapters I'll be able to do. I'm probably only going to be able to do two chapters really from now on because the chapters do get harder and longer as fiends go on. But this is definitely a fun series. I'm looking forward to this one. I... I'm definitely thinking I can beat this game now, and normal mode is, well, nowhere near as bad as hard mode from what I've seen and heard, so that's very reassuring. Tune in next time, everybody, and next Wednesday, and that is two days from now, we'll be continuing with Chapter 4, which is The Collapse of the Alliance.